Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will briefly discuss about absorbance and transmittance. When light or electromagnetic radiation passes through a material, some light absorbed by the material and some light passes right through. To get an idea about how much of quantity of radiation passes through or transmitted through the material, we use transmittance. For example, let's consider a sample solution and less incident electromagnetic radiation or light on it. The radiation that incident on the sample has some intensity and less denote that as capital Y naught. As the light passes through the solution, some light might get absorbed. In this case, the intensity of the transmitted light is anyway smaller than that of incident light. And let's denote the intensity of the transmitted light as capital Y. And transmittance is simply the ratio of transmitted intensity over the intensity of incident light times 100%. Because it's a ratio, it has no units. If the solution absorbs a lot of light with certain wavelength, then the intensity of the transmitted light is much smaller than the intensity of incident light. Therefore, transmittance is very small. If the solution does not absorb any light at all, then the intensity of the transmitted light is equal to the intensity of the incident light and transmittance becomes 1. The absorbance is a measure of how much light of particular wavelength is absorbed. It is equal to the negative log of transmittance. Note that if transmittance is 100%, absorbance becomes 0, which is physically meaningful, which tells us that the solution does not absorb any light at all. In experiments like characterization of samples, it is most reliable if the absorbance value is 0.8, that is 15% of transmittance. Therefore, 0.7 to 1 range is preferred for absorbance for good experimental results. Thank you.